Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just going to be another study with me and I'm going to just be studying French in this video because I got some new textbooks recently and I've been really wanting to study from them. This textbook that you see me using right now is the Delft 100% Réussite book. I was sort of hesitating between getting this one and the ABC Delft books and to be honest there wasn't really that much of a reason why I picked this book over the other. I think the main one was just that the ABC Delft books came with CDs and I don't have anything that plays a CD so I preferred this book which comes with audio files that you can access online. I've gotten a little way through it and I've been really enjoying it. I like how it has answers at the back for every little question in the book. It's a book definitely made for self-learning which is really good. The other textbook that I had, which was the alter ego ones, were definitely made for a classroom setting because it was really hard to figure out the exercises sometimes and they didn't have answers to the like in-text questions, like they only had answers for the exercises at the end of each chapter. It's also really nice to have some structure to my learning, which I've been missing. I thought the problem was that I don't like textbooks, but I actually do like textbooks just when they're good textbooks, like this one for example. So this textbook is made to specifically prepare you for the B2 exam. The first section of this book is the listening comprehension part, which I thought I was fairly good at because I watch a lot of YouTube videos and I have no problems understanding them when I watch them. But I really found myself struggling with the formal audio clips that they had, so it's definitely something I need to work on. This book here is more of a uh, general guide on how to improve your argumentative skills in French, basically how to debate, and this could be used in like for written debates or even spoken ones. Uh, personally, this is something that I struggle with a lot. It's one of my biggest worries for the exam, how I'm going to do the spoken part, where you have to debate your point of view on a subject. And even writing argumentative pieces is really difficult for me. So I'm really glad that I got this book. I haven't gotten very far through it, but it's definitely my favorite textbook that I have right now. It's really clear and there's lots of exercises to go through it. And it's really broken down into very small, actionable pieces. I'd always known in the back of my head that I struggled with a lot of things when it comes to output in French, as with my other languages. But getting these textbooks and trying to work through them really highlights how much of an issue I have with just everything to do with writing and speaking. Because, as you can see here, I'm really struggling to get through this one simple exercise on like defining an issue. And afterwards, I looked at the guide given at the back of the book, and pretty much everything that I'd written was wrong, and I'd completely missed the point of the topic. So it's really good that I'm getting to practice this now and know what I'm struggling with, so I can improve it later. I've been doing a good job of journaling daily in here, which is surprising even to me because I'm not known for consistency in any aspect of my life. It's been really fun to summarise my day in a little paragraph every evening. Sometimes I feel like it's too little space and I want to write more, which is great because before I was struggling to find the motivation to continue to write anything. I also really like the rainbow theme that I've kept up over the past couple of weeks. It's really fun to use all of my coloured pens and it adds a little bit of motivation to do it every day. I do need to make a bit more of an effort to start using new vocabulary when I write or to try and write for a purpose, for example, try and do a prompt or something. But 
right now I want to focus on doing something rather than doing nothing. So, so these daily journal entries are a good way to get myself back into the habit of writing. That's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.